In this example, you are required to draw a flowchart. And in your flowchart, you need to input five numbers. And you need to find and output the sum of the five numbers. In other words, each time you enter a number, you need to sum them up. So if I need five numbers, let's say my first number as, a, as an example is six, the second number is three, the third number is four, uh, and, and the next number is uh, 10, and the final number is two. So those are my five numbers, one, two, three, four, five. So the user will input five numbers. You need to find the sum of the numbers. So you're going to take six plus three, that gives me nine. Nine plus four gives me 13. 13 plus 10 gives me 23. And 23 plus two will give me 25. So this is what the flowchart wants you to do, to add up all the numbers and to give you the sum of the numbers. In approaching this question, you could use five separate input boxes with five separate variables, right? This is an input box. You could have five of those. That's going to say input uh, num1, input num2, input num3, input num4, and input num5. And then you could say sum is equal to num1 plus num2 plus num3 plus num4 plus num5. And then just print the sum. That will solve this question. But I want to solve this using repetition. So the first thing you need to take note of is we're going to solve this using repetition. And when we're going to do that, we're going to input only one number. So my input box, it's going to input just one number, but I need a loop that's going to allow me to repeat this statement five times. Because if I repeat the statement five times, I say input num, it means I'm inputting five numbers. And as I'm doing that, the question wants me to find the sum of it. So I need another statement to find the sum of the numbers. And because I want five numbers, I need something to be able to count how many numbers I actually have. Each time I need to do some counting and my decision box is going to depend on count. When count reaches five, it needs to stop the repetition. So these are the different elements that I'm going to need in my flowchart. So let's look at the solution. So here's a flowchart that will allow me to input five numbers and it will allow me to sum up the five numbers. So here we start, so that's every flowchart has a start and the end is cut off here, but there's a, there's a stop at the end of the flowchart. So at box number one, I've got count set to zero and sum set to zero. And if you, if I label this box two, three, four, and five. So at box one, we've initialized variables, but if you look at box three, you will see that count is an accumulator and sum is an accumulator. And we know that when we have accumulators, we have to initialize the accumulators. So that's what I'm doing here. I'm initializing my accumulators. Then at box two, I'm inputting a number. This is a number that the user will input. And if I take the, the numbers that I used earlier on, let's assume the first number that's input is six. So that means num has the value six. 
So here we now counting. Count equals it was zero, zero plus one. So count, that's my counter. And you'll notice I'm checking to see when that counter is, when it's less than five, continue to repeat. Continue to repeat. The minute it reaches five, the condition is going to become false and then it's going to stop the repetition. So that counter variable is helping me to count up the number of repetitions. And look at the next statement. Sum is an accumulator. So sum equals sum plus num. So this is accumulating. What is it accumulating? It's accumulating the number that we just input. So each time I input a number, that number is being accumulated into sum. So when I go back up and I input a second number, three, sum is going to be sum, which is the previous value it had, plus num, which is the new value that I've just input. And then when it goes back up again, and I've got another number, four as an example, then sum is equal to sum plus this new number that is input. So this accumulator for sum is adding up. It's adding up all the numbers that have been input. And this accumulator count, it's just incrementing in one each time. It increments by one. So this count is just serving as a counter. It's telling me how many times the loop is executing. This is fixed repetition because I want the loop to stop when it reaches five. And count is just helping me to count one, two, three, four, and then eventually five. And once the condition fails, it's going to stop the loop. So this is how you would draw a flowchart to achieve this purpose of the question where you need to input five numbers. There's the input. Sum up the five numbers. Stop the loop so that it doesn't go beyond five. And when we finished, then output sum. Because sum has the value of the total that we want. In this case, if I add up all the numbers, after adding them all up, that is the value I want printed. And that's going to be stored in the placeholder sum. I hope this helps you to understand from a question how you would go about drawing the flowchart.